Hello, hola, bienvenidos. As you guys can see for the title today, we're doing a get ready with me. I am here to play around with some new makeup that I have. As you guys can see, my face is bare. All I have is my skincare. There are certain things that I do have that may not necessarily um, need for me to do on camera. So certain steps, I will let you guys know what I use. But other than that, um, the things that I do have, I have an eyeshadow palette. I have a new foundation that I want to try out for the first time on camera with you guys. And I have a few thoughts of other things, you guys. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okie dokie guys. So um, I have a new foundation to test out with you guys. This was sent over to me through Influencer. It's the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Foundation. I have never tried a Makeup Forever foundation and it's been a very long time since I've used a powder foundation. The one and only powder foundation I've ever used is Bare Minerals. That was the very first foundation I had ever used on my skin when I was like 17, 18, and I used it for years until I finally bit the bullet and tried a liquid um, foundation, which is very fascinating because I just found out this year that uh, it got reformulated. It's been around for so long and it just got reformulated, new packaging, everything. So I, that's how old I am. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to test these out, but I have been told, or at least what I have seen, is you should put on all of your liquids before you um do your foundation this at least this foundation so i am going to go ahead and put like my primer all of my cream products even my uh, concealer corrector and then i will um uh, take it from there with you guys that way we're skipping all those steps and you guys are not sitting here dragging through the whole entire process all right so i look a little bit crazy i did all of my cream products i did my concealer corrector and i set my concealer corrector because i did not want to set it with this product, it's way too mattifying for my under eyes and it would be horrible. So this foundation claims to be lightweight, medium to full coverage. Uh, it blurs the look of imperfections, mattifies for 24 hours for natural, real skin finish. So it has a lot of claims on here, you guys, a lot of claims. So it comes with a sponge here and I have seen that you can purchase the sponge separately for an additional $5 if you need to replace it. I did in, in the um, influencer PR box get a Makeup Forever uh, double-sided uh, brush in the number 158. So one side is fluffier and then this side is a little bit more dense but not too dense. I have read that it doesn't work the best with this this brush specifically this foundation i actually like this dual sided for like um highlighting under the eyes for blush this one for bronzer kind of thing so i'm gonna skip it because everyone that i've seen has used the sponge and it has worked wonderfully so <clears throat> so you can see it's brand new never been touched we're gonna slide it in oh and i am they sent me the shade 1N06, 1N06, it's right here. And it does look like it would be a match. We'll see, at least in person it does. So I'm gonna swipe it through. Look at that, Ooh. and now we're gonna do this. Oh, oh, okay. Now it doesn't tell you how to exactly do the sweeping motions, but, okay. Oh, I do see that my redness around my nose. Huh, this shade's a little bit ashy on me. You can see it's a little bit more white based. And it might just be because I put on, I normally don't put foundation on my, on my forehead, but I'm gonna do it today. We're going to go ahead and see. Actually, this does really feel like nothing is on my skin. Like I feel like I, I have done nothing to my skin, but just interesting. It is a tad bit too, like a, a hair light than my normal skin. But again, I said that it's because maybe I did the, um, I did the uh, uh, the bronzer on here, the liquid bronzer, but I like it, the cream bronzer. Okay, 
Look, I'm like literally touching it and nothing. I don't feel a thing on my face. I do like it. So far, first impressions, I do like it. Um, I just wish it was a little bit warmer. Let me warm it up with some bronzer and stuff. Okay, okay, we're gonna warm it up. My usual, you know, my usual. <clears throat> let's do this, bronzer, and let's see if the bronzer. Warm it up a little bit. It really does look like I have nothing. I will say though, if you do have dry skin, make sure you moisturize well because I could tell that it would look drier on the skin. Like maybe this might be a good foundation for me in the in the summertime. Because it feels lightweight, but it'll keep me matte. Huh. All righty. I was not expecting much, but Makeup Forever really does have good stuff. Let's do this. Bring some luminosity back into our face. And then for our blush, where's my blush? My blush is also a powder. Huh, okay. So far it hasn't really, no, mm -mm. I can't tell that if it's making anything move, no, mm -mm. buff everything out. So far, so good, you guys. Ah, oh, I'm digging it. Okay. I did not expect to like it. Now, obviously, this is just first impressions. I want to see how it wears. I'm just a little bit... Eh, I, I'm definitely going to have to warm it up with some sort of bronzer. So I'm going to do my brows real quick. So then we can go ahead and use this, uh, this new uh, eyeshadow palette that I have. And I have some thoughts on it. Okay, so my brows are done. Uh, so far, I still like this foundation. I do, and it feels like skin. It truly feels like skin, and I feel like it's a quick, easy one. It's like swipe, swipe, swipe. Like, you, there's not a lot to it. You don't have to set it, none of that stuff. I, hmm, <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm really liking it right now. So we are going to do our eyes now. I went ahead and I had told you guys last month, if you watch my makeup rehab series, that I had purchased a mystery box and it has finally arrived, but I have some thoughts, you guys. So I did the Adept Cosmetics. Every year I try to pick one indie brand to try new, and this is my third year doing this, and this is my third year getting burned. I'm not even joking, you. The last two that I've done the last two years, I am I was very bummed about it, and yet again, I'm bummed about it. And here, let me explain to you why. It has nothing to do with the quality of the shadows. Can I get this elsewhere? Yes, like this is their the mystery box palette and I have used it, doesn't look like I have, but I have used it. Um, it's, I don't understand what the hype is because there's other things that I have in my collection that are a lot cheaper that do the same exact thing. So I don't know if it's because I've just tried so many different formulas, I have that sort of mindset, but I can understand those that don't have a lot of makeup or are new to the makeup world and have tried Adept, how, why they would like it. I understand that. My gripe that I have is specifically with the mystery box. Okay, you guys know I am a fanatic of purchasing mystery boxes. This was not a mystery box. I'm gonna put it out there. Uh, it's probably unpopular opinion. I'm probably gonna get burned for it, blacklisted, whatever the case would be. But I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna say it to you guys. This is not a mystery box. I'm not sure who came up with this in Adept, but they didn't understand the concept of a mystery box. This is a PR box. Every single person that bought this mystery box got the same thing. To me, that is a PR box, that is not a mystery box. It was completely false advertisement because if I would have known that I would have gotten the eyeshadow palette and all of these liquid eyeliners, which I, you guys know, I'm not a liquid eyeliner person, I would have never purchased this. If they would have said PR box with these two new things, yes, 
I will give it to them. They did state, if you're new to the brand, don't buy this. But their reasoning was due to their formula, you weren't familiar with their formula. It had nothing to do with the fact that this was a PR box. This is not a mystery box. If I would have gotten this palette and maybe two shades out of this, and then I knew somebody else who got the other two shades, then that would have been passed off as a mystery box. But for every single person to get this eyeshadow palette and all of these liquid eyeliners, that is a PR box. And to put the icing on the cake, I've gotten a few DMs of individuals who watch other people's videos, and those people that have purchased this specific mystery box have stated that they've gotten refunded for it because they normally would get PR from the brand. And it seems like allegedly to me is that the brand return their money because it was a PR box, because it was PR to them. That's, I think that's where I'm more frustrated about because it was not what I went signed up for. It was not cheap, one, and two, if I would have known I would have gotten all of these, I would have never. Now, there are, what, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight different shades and I have yet to open any of these because I'm still on the fence whether I'm just gonna sell them, give them away. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet because I'm just so, I'm really PO'd about this because I'm, I'm, I'm very annoyed. I could have used my money elsewhere and for a different brand because I had this brand Adept on my list and there was another brand, oh, bl uh, Blend Bunny. I wanted to try Blend Bunny and I picked this one over Blend Bunny this year. And like I said, every year for the last three years, including this year, I've tried a new indie brand and every year I've been disappointed. I don't know if my expectations have been high, if the brands have been hyped up way too much for me and I'm just like over it at this point. I don't know what it is, but I'm annoyed. Now I have used this palette and this is what we're gonna use today. Um, these, first of all, this smells like straight chemicals. Like this smells like chemicals to me, like paint chemicals, like pen ink from a pen chemical kind of thing. It doesn't have a pleasant smell to me. Um, and these shades here are no different from any single shadows that I've gotten from Davina, that I've gotten in my Beauty Bay palettes, that I've gotten in my Sample Beauty palettes, that I've gotten in my Luxy Beauty singles, um, my JD Glow. I mean, they're so amazing. I, there's nothing special about this that I haven't already tried. I was expecting something different and unique and then I get one row of their shimmers and then all these mattes that, and honestly, I'm not even a fan of this, this color story, but we're gonna, we're gonna play with it since it's already here. I'm already bashing it enough. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and play around. I haven't, let me see. I have not played with, which shade? Um, it's very difficult because these are very firmly pressed. I feel like these, the mattes remind me, they're very thin. Um, they're very packed in there uh, that they're not creamy, they're not buttery, they're not pigmented. These are a, a thinner consistency than what I typically go for. I think I'm gonna go with this shade and mix it in with this shade because I don't wanna go too warm. So I'm gonna mix both of them. Oh, the smell it just drives me nuts with the smell. And see how there's no powder kick up when you tap in there. These are a lot more firmly pressed and a lot more, um, like I said, thinner in their consistency. See what I mean? Like they're not very pigmented from the get go. So you could build it up. It's not, it it's, reminds me of a higher end version of like, um, my Juvia's Place where they're like thinner, but they're not anywhere near Anastasia's sing, uh, palettes, the new, even the newer ones, or Sydney Grace. This is why I stick to the indie brands that I, that I trust, that I know will give me what I'm asking for and not try to like pull a fast one. So, Sydney Grace is still my number one. And Audrey's right there, give me glow right there. It's just, I can trust them. I know what they're gonna give me is what I'm, uh, what they're advertising. Like, I'm just still bummed about that. This is, I'm just, <sighs> I know I'm trying to get off my soapbox. So, see, it does blend out nicely. Like, I'm not saying it's, it's a horrible palette. It's just, 
wasn't anything spectacular. I was expecting something more like, woo, like, you know, blown off my socks. Third year, still not getting blown off. <laughs> still on my, on my feet. So I'm going to take this shade right here and just deepen out this part a little bit. Baldwin Hills. And I, I think that this is permanent to their collection. So if you want to get it, it's there. I'm sure many people do like it. I'm just, I think I've, I have a bad taste in my mouth because of the way that this was presented. This is not a mystery box. Not a mystery box. And you guys know I am such a fan of mystery boxes. This is not a mystery box. <laughs> okay, so for the eyes, I have played around with this shade already. So I actually, uh, see like, this is my other frustration. All these shades really don't go with these. <laughs> Like, I'm going to put a purple with a blue or a pink with a blue. Like, this is the only color that really goes with the shades around here. I'm, I'm like, stumped with these blues down here. I'm just, like, blue, gray, and a greenish shade. I guess I'll go with Manhattan Beach right here. I don't know. I just, and I tap this. It looks more yellow on the eyes, but on here it looks like it has blue to it so confusing but yeah cleona cosmetics i've i've tried theirs and again that's another one that you could just buy the singles from and still get the same look like instead of getting a whole palette for 50 bucks that you're not going to be happy with that's the way you want to go so, it's pretty i again don't get me wrong i'm making this very clear i'm just more upset about the delivery of this than anything but I, I don't see the, the excitement in this palette because it's like the same thing that I would get anywhere else. I don't know. Maybe those that I'm watching haven't really tried many brands. So it's like, or I'm in just in this mindset of just like I need something to be extraordinary for me to really, really like it and be like, you need to try this kind of thing. All right, let me put on my mascara and then I'll show you two lip products that I have new to my collection. Okay, mascara is on and I have two last things that came in PR. These are two new Merit shades to me. I have Cabo and Fashion. Cabo is a red orange, which would actually look really nice with this if I was wearing a different shirt. And then the other shade is Fashion, which is like a deeper plummy shade, which I'm gonna put on now. And I like these. They're very moisturizing. And you don't ha. See how I just use my finger to lend this out? You don't have to go ahead and actually do like a full on. I'm going to put a little bit of this lip oil from Ulta. I don't even know what shade this is in. Mix it in. I like a little messily look. See, very sheer. I like these. I, I've always liked this formula. I've always liked these lipsticks. I had slip i believe but that did go bad on me these are more natural so you do have to use them more often or they will go bad they don't last as long at least mine did not last as long so we'll see how long these two last because these are not nudes all right you guys so this is the uh, final look i know my hair is a hot mess today it is a hot mess i don't care so real quick foundation i see it very promising i still think it's beautiful i don't feel it on my face i really do like it i think that it would work really nice with me in the summertime. Um, this is more my winter shade, but I think I might be able to make that work if I work liquids in before I place this on my skin. So yeah, really do like it. Uh, the brush did not really work with the foundation. It's, this is too loose. Like you need something more dense in order to apply this foundation. And this is just way too loose on both sides. But this is a beautiful brush and I will get use out of that. I've already gone on and on and on about this. It's a nice palette. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice palette. It's just, I was expecting more. I heard so much about this brand. I can get the same kind of look um, using what I have. 
These shades are beautiful, but again, even the texture of these, Super Shock Shadows from uh, ColourPop, you have Beauty Bay, beautiful and very inexpensive. Uh, uh, Sample Beauty, um, a lot of indie brands, Cleona Cosmetics, Divina Cosmetics, I Luxie Beauty, I just have so many, JD Glow that I didn't necessarily, and I won't. Now that I've tried it, okay, I'll use it, but again, it's not my favorite color story either. I would have liked something else, but that's not their fault. It's just my personal preference. I'm just annoyed at the delivery of the mystery box, which to me is not a mystery box. It could be unpopular opinion. That's just my personal opinion. That's not how a mystery box works, at least how I've purchased them in the last X amount of years. That's not how a mystery box works. Not if everyone's getting the same thing. It's not a mystery box. And last but not least were these Merit lipsticks. You guys know I'm already a fan of them. These are very comfortable, very moisturizing, and they're very lightweight on the lips. I've already been a fan of these um, a ton. So these two colors, I'm very excited. I wanted to pick a berry shade more for the um, fall winter time. And then this one, I cannot wait to wear in the summer. I think this will look beautiful in the summertime because it's not a full on red, but it's that orangey red with a tan that just makes it look beautiful with just like a glow to the cheeks. Yeah, very, very pretty. So that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will list all of these products down in the description box. If you are interested, let me know if you did get any of these, what your thoughts are, what your opinions are. I'd like to know because obviously I'm just one person and there's a ton of different skin tones, preferences out there. And maybe you guys might be able to shift my thoughts on for a good note or a bad note. I don't know. All right, guys, that's all that I have for you guys today. More videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then, adios.